While the worst of Singapore's largest oil spill in over a decade has been cleared from the shorelines of East Coast Park, remnants still remain on structures like rock buns and pier walls. Over time, the oil remnants have begun to dry and harden, making them more difficult to remove. As the waves crash repeatedly against the oil-stained beach structures, there is a risk of oil leaching, polluting the sea with oil sheens. Special equipment, like marine firefighting pumps, boats capable of operating in shallow waters, and high-pressure wash units are now being deployed at East Coast Park in the second phase of the cleanup. This stage is expected to take three months, with public areas to open progressively after the work is done. During a media visit organized by the National Environment Agency NEA on June 28, train crew on a boat were seen using high-pressure streams of water to dislodge oil from tainted pier walls. They started from the farthest end of the pier, inching their way methodically towards the shoreline. Booms, which are barriers used to limit the spread of oil, have been laid to absorb the oil. There is an angle used to flush oil out that's the most effective. They cannot spray the water straight on, as the oil will splatter everywhere. Said Mr. Mohammed Farouk Ghani, Senior Assistant Director at NEA's Division of Public Cleanliness. The cleanup at East Coast Park is being done section by section, starting from Area B. Factors like wind conditions and currents add to the complexity of the operations. The work that can be carried out is highly dependent on the tide because surfaces are exposed only during low or mid-tide. So that's why we have a limited window of time to work every day, said Mr. Mohammed Farouk. Tidal movement also causes oil to be buried under the sand. The cleaning personnel will have to flood the area with high volumes of low-pressure water. Flushing the oil to the surface Buried oil is commonly found at natural collection points where oil accumulates due to the influence of tide, wind, water movement, the contour of the shoreline and the presence of man-made structures. There are around 12 such spots at East Coast Park. We know that along these areas are where we need to focus our flushing efforts. For areas that have biodiversity, there will be no aggressive cleaning. And we will remove tar balls only on the sand surface, said Mr. Mohammed Farouk. To keep cleaning personnel safe, contractors will assess the site conditions, nature of tasks and risks before deciding on the choice of personal protective equipment. Workers performing tasks that have more direct contact with oil deposits, such as the removal and replacement of used absorbent booms, as well as flushing operations, may require more protection. On June 14, 400 tons of low sulfur fuel oil from a bunker vessel leaked into the sea after it was hit by a dredging boat at Peso Panjang Terminal. Coastlines at East Coast Park Labrador Nature Reserve, Keppel Bay, the Southern Islands and Sentosa were stained. After a massive cleanup, the removal of bulk oil from the sea and beaches is nearly complete. The authorities said on June 24th.